Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Thanks for joining me. So in the last video, we created this kind of room database where we went to our main activity and we added some friends to our database all inside of room. So if you haven't seen the previous video, go back and see that. So we're just outputting our names to the screen and you can see here we have four names and that's, uh, we're, we're adding friends, I think, where we, yeah, inserting them right there. So in the, last, in the last video, if you haven't checked that out, go back and see that, that. that'll explain how to set up all of room database, um, all of our DAO, our model, our database, our activity, all that's set up in the last video. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make this look a little bit better. We're gonna use a card view to make this look really pretty, hopefully. So with that, I don't think I've changed anything since I committed it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. In this case, instead of, let's just start out with content main. And we don't want that text view anymore. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put a recycler view here. So recycler view, uh, zero dp, zero dp. And let's give this an ID, ID of, we'll do friends, I usually don't name it so long, but for this case, it'll work. Now it's giving us an error, and that's because we're using constraint layout. And inside of there, we use 0dp and 0dp to get full width and height, but we need to add special tags. So you can tell right there that we can see it in the top left corner. Let's do this. Let's do end to end of parent. That pushes it all the way over to the right. Now let's do start start of parent. So that pushes it all the way over to the left. So now it's kind of like constrained all the way from left to right. It's on the top, but it doesn't go all the way down. So now let's do bottom to bottom of parent. So now it's on the bottom. Now let's do top to top of parent. And it takes up the full screen now. So you can see the blue marks it goes up to right there, to there, to there, to there. It's actually what's going on here is this zero DP is means, um, it means to use constraint layout. And that's what it's using. It's making it a full list. Exactly what we want. <clears throat> Okay, so we have this recycler view, but it's not really set up. I bet you if you go to main activity, it's gonna give us some errors because we were actually using that text view that we deleted. We were using that text view to actually populate our text. We're using the text view to populate our data. So let's get rid of that. Let's do this. Let's do uh, friends dot apply. It's a nice Kotlin method. It kind of means, hey, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff on this friends recycler view which is this right to there, that recycler movie we just created. Let's do this, let's do layout manager, uh, equals linear layout manager. Now this has nothing to do with constraint layout or layout linear layout, just you can use constraint, I get some questions about this, you can use constraint layout with this. So yeah, don't, don't feel like there's a constraint layout manager, it's just, just called linear layout manager. And this we wanna pass in the context of this, I think we need this at main activity because this, just simply typing this would mean the context of that apply, which is a recycler view. We don't want that. So we have that. Now let's do this. Let's do adapter equals, and we'll call this friends adapter. And we want to pass it all friends. So in the database, we're getting all of our friends there. Um, so we're going to pass this to our friends adapter. Now that's giving us an error, so click on it. We haven't created this yet, so that's why we're getting the error. So just alt enter. We'll do create class friends adapter. We'll do extract a separate file. That seems good to me. That seems good to me. That all seems good. And let's see, recycler view adapter view holder. We'll call this friends adapter dot view holder. Um, so but let's, I'll kind of explain what's going on here. And I've created recycler views in other videos. So if you haven't seen this before, you can go back and watch previous videos. But what we're doing is we're saying, hey, a, a, a recy we're, gonna, we're gonna use recycler view for this. Recycler view will give us a list of data and we can customize the view however we want. So with friends adapter dot, that's the same name as that. It's giving us an error. So click on it and do alt enter, do create class view holder and we'll do it inside of friends adapter. Now inside of here, we can actually, I think we can actually get rid of that. And we want to do a view of type view. And then we'll pass that to recycler view dot adapter. I think we view that, no, uh, dot, dot view holder. And we pass it, I think that's what we do, yeah. 
I create recycle reviews all the time, but I still, okay. So that's, so that's, that's the preview holder. Um, we'll use that variable in just a second, but for now I'm gonna click on there, do Alt, Enter, Enter, select, Shift, click to select all of those, hit OK, and now we have all of our, we have all of our methods stubbed out for us. I'm gonna get rid of that line, that line, that line, I always start with the easiest, which is this get item count. This basically tells the recycler of you how many records we have. So this could be 10, or it could be 100, or it could be you know 45, or it could be 23, or whatever. But in this case, we're going to use however many friends we have. So all friends. This got to be val there. So all friend dot size. So however many friends we have, that's what we'll do. I'm gonna click on there and do Alt Enter, Enter, and there we go. It just makes it private. Again, I'm reformatting the code. I do that a lot. I've talked about it in previous videos, but you can go to like code, then reformat code, and I'm just using the keyboard shortcut a lot, the Control Alt L in my case. I use that all the time. Um, so one more thing, a couple more things actually. So instead of on Create View Holder, um, what we need to do is we need to do this. Let's do val, we'll call this view equals a layout inflator. Let's see if I can type dot from parent dot context dot inflate. And this is gonna say, hey, so for every single row, so say we have 10 records, for those 10 records, we're gonna set this, or actually that's not, yeah, I, but it's kind of is true. So we need to give this, I think, r.layout, then we'll call this friend row. We need to pass in parent, uh, then false. So a little bit complicated. What this is saying is, hey, set up a new variable. We're gonna inflate something. We need this context of the parent. Then what's gonna happen for every single row is this gonna inflate this layout. So this friends row there, and we'll create that right now. So go to layout, new, layout resource, name this friend row. We'll put constraint layout there. That's good, hit enter. So there's a layout, that should get rid of that error. So a couple more things, we need to return something. So the return type here is always after that colon. So we have uh, view holder, so this return view holder view. Okay, so this method is done, and that method is done. And what we're gonna do here is in friend row, we're just going to go to the text layout, and I'm gonna reformat the code, and let's just put a button here. Wrap, wrap, and we'll do start parent and top, top parent. That makes it go left and top, so there we go. And then our text will be text, we'll call this something here. Just so we can print something on the screen. Okay, so our friends adapter is done. First, right here inside of onCreateViewHolder, we kind of set up our layout, which is our friend row. So that's gonna be our layout for every single row. We just return it there. This is just telling us what, how many records we have. So in this case, we have what? We have like four, so one, two, three, four. So in this case, it will be, that number will be four. Uh, then in on bind view holder, well, we'll get to that in just a second. And I think this will work, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it and run it. We can always just look at the error messages and see why it crashes if it does crash. But I think this might work. So the great old build is running. Wait a second. And wait, and it's going kind of slow. It's taking its time. Don't know why it's going, I need to restart my computer maybe. I'm on a Ubuntu laptop, there we go. So you just see one record here, but that's not right. There should be like five of them or four of them, right? Well, you notice if we scroll, we can see more of them, but you'll notice there's like tons of space in between them. And the reason for that is because inside of our friends row, we set the parent or the root to match parent. That's gonna take up all the way from up there to down there. So in this case, we just wanna wrap it. So wrap means just take up however much, much space you need. So not everything, so see now the blue line ends right there. So it's just gonna be that right there. So I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna run it, and let's go back to the emulator. And there it is, so now they're all there. And you'll notice, um, so I think in main activity, every time we run the app, we insert a friend into the database. So if I were to kill this, 
and then say I were to open it back up again, we'd have what we've, we'd have one more record. So it's kind of a lazy way to do it. I could hook up a on-click listener for that maybe, but yeah, there we go. These buttons don't do anything. Okay, so we have stuff in the database. It's printing on the screen, but it's not exactly the UI we want. So let's go to friend row. I'm gonna get rid of that button and let's do this. Let's do let's do card do. I will do uh, zero DP wrap. And actually, we do want to. So normally, you can do a self-closing tag like that with the uh, with the slash and then the uh, greater than sign. But in this case, I want to actually open and close it. So we'll put stuff inside of it. So that's how you put stuff inside of a tag in in, H, in the XML. Inside of here, we'll do text text view. We'll do wrap wrap just to get something on the screen. There, this is giving us an error. What we need to do is we need to do. Uh, so right now it's just in the top left of the screen. Let's do this. Let's do end to end of parent. That means make it go all the way over to the right. Now we need start to start parent. Makes it go all the way over to the left and that's exactly what we need. I think we also need top to top of parent. Parent just means whatever is, so parent there means whatever is up there. So in this case as a constraint layout, it'll just respect whatever is that right there and that is full width. So there we go. Now this text view, let's do ID will be, uh, uh, we'll just do name, and we'll do text, we'll do Daniel Malone. Go ahead and save that. And I think that's good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and, I think that's good. I'm gonna run it just to see what it looks like. We'll probably have to make some changes. So there's our name. Okay, let's do a couple of things. Let's do text size, we'll do uh, 22S, P uh, text color, we'll do black. Maybe this will give it some padding. We'll do 16 dp, give it some space. I don't know if that'll work. That's not giving us space. We'll mess with that in just a second. But you can kind of see where's the card view. Let's do, let's give it some margin. Let's give it some margin there. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. See what it looks like. There we go. Now we kind of have our cards there. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe on your monitor you can see it better. That's kind of working. Let's do this. Let's do, let's do um, padding. We'll do 16 dp just to give it some space. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And you'll notice every time we run it, we run it, we add a new record. So now we have some space there. So I've run it a number of times. We can kind of scroll through this list. Daniel Malone. Now in this case. Um, we have different names. So say I want to insert Bethany into the database. Say I go ahead and run that. All of this is going to say is Daniel Malone. We're not actually using data from the database. So although we have all of our row set up and we have our adapter set up, we're not actually using, we're not actually using our friends, our get all friends. We're not actually using that. So what we need to do is go inside of Friends Adapter, and again, you can control click onto there. And now this is where our onbind view holder comes into play. So we have access to this holder there. Let's do holder dot. Oh, holder dot view. Well, we can do item view, or we can. I'll just use item view. So item view dot. And remember, so holder comes from right there. View holder, item view is kind of like the same as view. And I could put, I could put a val there and do the same thing and replace that with view. That should work. And then our name right there comes from our ID that we gave it right there. So that, if that were ASDF, that would give me an error. I'd have to type ASDF there, the same kind of thing. So whatever you put inside of your ID here uh, for the text view, that's what you'll have to use. So we have Daniel Malone there. Friends adapter. Okay, so we have holder dot that dot text equals, and now we're going to use our all friends variable. So we'll do all friends. And then we have access to a position. So this will be like zero, one, two, three, four, five. It'll go all the way up to one hundred or whatever, however many records you have. So we'll do position, and then on here we can do dot first name. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and run it, and let's see what we get here. 
So right now we have a couple of Bethany's at the bottom and that's true because every time we run the app we just add a new record. I could add, what I could do is I could add lots of records. This is a terrible, I, I don't want to do that, it's so terrible, I don't want to do that. Um, but there, you could add lots of records to the database, run it, and then you'll see that there lot, all the data shows up. So this is kind of, a, it's kind of what we want. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. And in the next video I will, yeah, in the next video we'll make it even prettier. But for right now we have a card view, we have a name. It's pulling from the database. We've kind of got it there, but in the next video we'll make it even prettier. So hopefully you learned something. Um, you can see me in the next video.